What's up everybody? Welcome. In this tutorial, we will cover variables and data types in the MySQL. In the previous lecture, we talked about what is tables and what is relational database. We talked about both of them. And in this lecture, I want to show you what is variable. Guys, I said to you, ID and age are numbers and all numbers in the SQL or in the MySQL stored like integer and name or surname I mean string of text store as uh, where char let's close this query and let's come here let me show you most common MySQL databases sorry guys I said databases data types there are uh, actually data types so guys first of all our first data type is integer and integer is whole number except decimal if you have decimal numbers they are decimal you can see here but let me talk to you about this integer for example if you have id if you have age if you have salary or you have ratings or marks degree etc etc all of these will be integer i mean whole numbers in the pi, uh, in the mysql will be integer Okay, and this I and T stands for integer. I write, I wrote here except decimal number because decimal number in the MySQL stored as decimal. And M and N, let me explain this M and M. M stands for before the decimal point and N stands for after the decimal point. If you write here 5.6 and m is 5 and 6 is m okay because m is whole number of digit here whole number of digit and this is decimal point of this number okay guys so this is what m and n i wrote here so here i have where char and that's that is string of text of length for example i wrote here you can see one between these parentheses, if you write 5, that means your string text, string of text, will be just 5 length. If you write here 100, your length will be 100. Or if you write here 50, your length will be 50. And let me show you, let me explain why, you, uh, why are you needing to write here your length. For example, your name, let's assume your name is Hanks. How many letters are word uh, word hanks h a n k and s you can see we have just five letters and that is why you don't need to write here for example thousand if you write between this parentheses thousand you will create a place in the memory for sorry guys you will create in the memory for thousand letters but you just need to write five okay and in this situation you need to write here for example 20 20 is the way we want to go because i don't have so long names or so long surnames and that is why i can write here 20 or let's assume uh, if you are working with and other databases like uh, you need to enter their your salary or your departments for example department name can be long and in this situation you can just enter here 40 because you don't need to write here just thousand or ten thousand or etc like this because whatever you write here you will create memory in the memory space and uh, we don't want to waste our memory that is why you need to write between this parentheses number that you will need for example for me it is 20 because i never used string of text that is length more than 20. okay guys this was our where char and we said this where char is string of text of length so here i have a blob and this blob is binary large objects and this store this blob stores large data i wrote here for example image you can think that image isn't large uh, large data because one image can be store ca or can be occupy just four or five megabits but 
in, uh, for the SQL, for this MySQL, images or files are big data or are large data because it takes or it stores four or five or even 10 megabytes. And that is why if you, uh, if you have big data, you need to build, let, let's not say big data because big data is the, another thing. Uh, let's say if you have large data and you in this situation you will need this blob because this is uh, this blob stands for binary large objects here i have date this is another variable this is another data type and that is called date and this date stores like this y y y hive m m and hive d d y stands for year m stands for months and d stands for day for example you can store like this 20 22 and months let's write one uh, zero one january and january 20. okay that is what uh, that, uh, that is what's called in the mysql date you can see here just i wrote and here we have another and that is another data type let's click just enter here these are date data types okay date and timestamp are used for getting date and here you can see i have year y y y hype m m hype d d and the here h h m m and s s h stands for hour m stands for minute and s stands for second for example here will uh, this will be like this 2022 and February, February, let's write 15, and let's write our, our, uh, our hours, minutes, and seconds. And I will write, uh, let's write like this, 22 and 15, I will just write like this, and let's write 25. This 22 is my how hour. 15 is my minute and 25 is my second. Okay, guys, I just wrote, I just click here, enter, and that I want to show you date and timestamp are date variables. Okay, and let me explain why we need to use these data types or variables. In the SQL, in the MySQL, or in another SQL language, we will have some kind of data for example salary for example student name or company name or let's say worker all of these are called data actually we talked about what is data uh we said your friend list can be data your or let's say your name can be data your age can be data and in the mysql we have so many data that we want to manage it for managing our data, we will need variables and data types. And data types or variables are the best way for managing data. Okay, guys, we said variables and data types, the best way for managing data. So that was our variable and data type lesson. And uh, I think we're almost done here. Let's finish our lesson here guys, let's see you in the next tutorial.